All right, back to the order of business. Games, thank God. Ape Tailman asked, what game are you looking forward to in the future? So I mentioned about Halo 4. I'll go a bit further into the future. 2013, probably my most anticipated game that I know full well is in existence is Grand Theft Auto 5. Just because all the rumors are so encouraging, the screenshots they've released just look phenomenal. The setting looks amazing, graphics look amazing, and Rockstar just seem to have gone from strength to strength recently. So definitely my most anticipated is GTA 5. Walter Roomley asked, Hi, hello, do you have a job? Yes, I do. I work part-time at a evil corporation called Tesco PLC. For those of you that don't know, they're a supermarket chain. I basically just work in the warehouse part. As I say, though, it's just part-time just because I finished my degree. I'm going to start properly looking for a job quite soon. This is kind of a stopgap just to keep some money flowing in. But saying that, I do enjoy my work quite a lot. I work with a lot of cool people, so I'm quite happy there for the time being. Joe Lever 8 asked, not quite a question actually. Joe Lever said, your favourite places you would want to visit in the world. That's a good one. I've been fortunate enough to go to quite a few places on like different holidays and school trips, but one place I'd really like to go that I've not been to is Australia. Just everyone that I know that's been there really raves about it. It has an amazing variety of landscapes and it just really seems like it appeals to me. I'd also like to visit Japan just because the culture fascinates me. They have so much weird crap over there and it just seems like a great place to go and visit. So those two in particular. And in fact, the favourite places that I've been to, so you don't think that I'm missing anything out, I'd probably say my favourite place is America. I've been to New York and Orlando, Florida, which I love both. The American people are incredibly friendly and welcoming, and I think they get kind of a bum rep outside of America, so that's definitely one of my favourite places that I've been to. Okay, the cock of D said, Can I ask you, ask you a question? You just did. Congratulations. Alright, Joe Lever 8 is back with the following conundrum. I sneeze almost every morning about two to four times. However, I hardly ever sneeze throughout the day. Could you explain this phenomenon? And do I need to see a doctor? Um, Joe, you do need to see a doctor because I'm afraid it sounds like you've got super aids. What I would recommend is getting two tampons and putting them, one in each nostril. If this doesn't prevent the sneezing, you definitely do have AIDS of some kind. So consult your nearest doctor and feel free to lick all of his apparatus so that he can eventually get it and you might not feel so lonely. So I'm happy to help with any medical advice you have in the future. All right, 08 Steel J, I believe that is. Text is quite small. Which is better, The Lord of the Rings or The Batman Dark Knight Trilogy? Interesting choice of films to compare, they're not very similar. You know what, in both cases I've only seen the first two and not seen the third, so I guess I can draw some kind of comparison. I'd personally go for the Dark Knight trilogy or duology, I guess, since I've only seen Batman Begins and the Dark Knight. I'm not a massive comic book fan, but I am a big Christian Bale fan just because he is a damn good actor, not so much a good person. But yeah, he kicks ass in those films. And Lord of the Rings, I do like the films, but I'm not really into the whole fantasy thing as much as other people. I still enjoyed them, just not really to the same extent as other people did. XX Dasik O Gamers 44 said, Yeah, can I be your friend on Xbox Live? My gamer tag is Mr. TGG Elite. Well, I believe you've already added me and played with me, so no, you can't. Good day. Mr. Zerprise said, congrats on the partnership, man. Thank you very much. I think you deserve it. I love watching your vids and I'm sure other people do too. Again, thank you. I support you all the way. Three times, thank you. Good luck with your channel. Four times, thank you. I should just thank you at the end. My question is, what do you look like? Well, I mentioned previously about what I look like in the face. Apparently, Joe Cole. I have just regular brown hair, medium length, height wise, slightly above average, but not a great deal average kind of build. I don't know, it's really hard to describe yourself when you're put on the spot. Got a nice little tan at the moment actually after coming back from holiday so I guess that's a defining feature for me at the moment. But yeah that's my very vague description of myself. Okay, Chainmall said, I was wondering if you could give me some tips on how to become more noticed on YouTube. I was going to start doing it again in the future, in brackets tried and failed, on a different channel when I get my new computer. Okay, well, I'm probably, well, no, I'm definitely not the best person to ask on this, but I'll give you some tips as best I can. There's no real get-rich-quick scheme for just getting noticed. 
but what I would say is being unique is an absolute must because I've seen it a hundred times before these newer commentators just absolutely mimic the likes of X Jaws and Woody's Gamer Tag to an absolute T where they just do Call of Duty commentaries talking about the same topics and I know imitation is the sincerest form of flattery but you have to think as a subscriber if you see a commentator that's very similar to a bigger guy you're going to opt for the bigger guy nine times out of ten knowing that he will be consistent and he will in all likelihood be better so try and carve yourself a niche consistency is another big factor now i'm a criminal offender for this because a lot of my stuff doesn't really tie together like it should the only real thing that i've kept going is this week in gaming but having a semi-regular upload schedule is absolutely paramount to keeping subscribers beyond that i would say network yaush.com is a great site to converse with other people you can set up dual comms they have a great community so i'd fully recommend checking them out hd quality video is a must a decent microphone is also a must although not as much as the video and beyond that i just say enjoy what you do because say if you're doing a let's play and you aren't necessarily into the game it, it comes across and becomes quite evident i think and also on the topic of let's plays i wouldn't recommend doing them to begin with just because it's very hard to start up a channel successfully just on let's plays so that more or less touches upon the main points if you'd like me to go into more details just send me a pm and i'll get back to you but like i say there are far better people that can give you this kind of information i'm just telling you from my personal experience what's the best way to approach it so thanks for asking that okay crazy buzz punk asked what made you want to start making youtube videos and on a more serious note if you had three wishes what would they be no cheating by asking for more wishes hmm so i can benefit society with this one first thing i do is ask for more genies booyah not necessarily more wishes but they grant them now three things um it's probably corny to say but total world peace is an absolute must well in fact let's just say total world satisfaction so no war no hunger no droughts that kind of thing let's see two more wishes i would love to be an awesomely talented footballer can you imagine being as good as Lionel messi and just knowing that you are a god amongst men that would be pretty damn sweet and a third wish I wish that I could be awesome at the guitar because I am just poor to average at the moment. But if I could shred like Van Halen or Buckethead, then again, that would be sweet as hell. So I could play football while shredding on the guitar. As for what made me want to start making YouTube videos, uh, largely a combination of things. I mean, I was always kind of interested in gaming videos when I first saw a few glitch videos for Halo 2. And I thought, oh, that would be something cool to do. But I was quite young at the time and capture cards were very expensive and quite a ball ache to set up. So I just didn't pursue it. And then I was just off the whole YouTube scene for years and years. And then by chance, I was with Play With Niz at university and I noticed that he was on YouTube uploading a video so I inquired to him like oh cool you've got a channel what kind of stuff do you do and then he mentioned about the whole Call of Duty commentary scene so I thought yeah this is quite cool this is something I'd be interested in because I saw the kind of community that he'd set up and he said just how easy it was to set up like a HD PVR and get going so I was particularly interested just because I've always got an opinion especially when it comes to games and I was quite vocal with my friends even though they don't care that much about video games. So I thought why vent to my friends that don't really care when I could vent to the internet that always cares. So basically there was reasons and a huge chunk of that was play with Niz. So thank you buddy and please check out his channel annotation. Bam! Right now. The annotation will open in a new window so feel free to click it right now. Randomized Box asked, have you ever covered yourself in Vaseline and pretended you were a slug, winking smiley face at the end, that's quite suggestive. As a matter of fact, I have on multiple occasions and it got quite bad. I was spending hundreds of pounds a month on Vaseline and it became quite a problem. So now I just occasionally spread jam onto my nipples and pretend that I'm some kind of new erotic slug. So I'm on the mend. I'm not quite cold turkey yet, but I'm not the slug that I once was. What the hell did I just say? Oh well. <laughs> All right, MUFC4527 asked, you will answer anything. Yes. What's your credit card details and mother's maiden name? Let's see my credit card details. It's a blue credit card. It is Visa. It's with Barclays Bank. It has several numbers indented. It has some personal details about myself and some numbers on the back. So I think that's a pretty good description. A magnetic strip on the back as well. So you can scan it in certain machines. And it is the average size for a credit card. 
And my mother's maiden name, uh, she doesn't like Iron Maiden, so she never got a maiden name. I hope that answered it sufficiently.